Hello guys and welcome back to Electro Horde. Today I want to show you something very interesting that I got, which is this Hewlett Packard Pocket Printer. Uh, this one is model, let's see if you can see it, yeah, model A2240B. Well, the history behind this printer is that HP had all this scientific calculators uh, and graphing calculators back in the 80s, like this one, this, this HP 48, and they wanted to also have in their calculator line a printer, so you could print the graphs and all the, the, the math that you used to do with these calculators. So they came up with the idea of making a portable uh, infrared printer, and they ended up coming up with the model before this one, which is the A2240A. This is the B version. Uh, from my understanding, the difference between the two is that this one, uh, the B version, has a standby function. If you forget it on, it will automatically get into standby mode after 10 minutes of an activity. And this one also has two char character set. Uh, instead of one uh, on the A version. The rest is identical, it's exactly the same thing. Uh, this thing is very, very portable for its days. I mean, we're talking about the 80s, right? So it was pretty interesting that you could have a printer in your pocket that could print for anything from graphs and all the stuff that you did back then with your scientific calculator. And so let's get to see what this thing, what are these buttons for, how does it run, how does it print, okay? And the first thing is that it runs on four AA batteries. Here it is, okay? I'm running it right now on rechargeables. It works just fine. Here we have the on-off button. Here we have a slider. It's actually a, a, a small potentiometer, which you use to set uh, the printing contrast. So you could actually have lighter printings uh, on this end. And if you want it to get darker and darker and darker, you just light it to the, to the right. And this is just a paper feed button. This thing is a thermal printer, so it actually prints on thermal paper. paper. Right, uh, this paper is pretty easy to find even nowadays. It's the same kind of paper that they use on this credit card machines. So it's exactly the same paper. It's the same width as you can see, right? So finding a paper for it is not a problem. It runs on regular AA batteries. So it's pretty easy to get this going uh, even today after 30, 40 years since it was manufactured. And like I said, it has absolutely no connection except for an external power supply and it only prints with infrared, right? So what we're gonna do now is get this to print something. I have three different HP calculators here. This is the 49G+. These are all compatible with this printer. Uh, this one this is the 48G. As you can see, it's already showing some signs of vinegar syndrome. If you look at this way, you can see that the polarizer is starting to rot. I've made a video on this channel about it. If you want to check it out, I'll have to, at some point, try to get this open. This calculator is very hard to, to open, so I've been avoiding it for the last uh, year, but it's just getting worse and it still works fine, but it will uh, stop to work at some point. So I will just have to get this fixed, right? And this is the 50G. Uh, this is actually the calculator that I mostly used when I was getting my, my engineer's degree. And I bought it brand new. It still has the, this warranty seal. I bought it back in 2006. Uh, and it still works just fine, right? I have some stuff here on the screen so you can just, so you can print it. And this thing always runs on regular batteries. This runs on, this one runs on four AAA batteries. So here's the setup that we're gonna use. 
we'll get the infrared lined up. This is the infrared from the calculator. So we have to get this lined up with the printer. And let's see what I have here on the screen of the calculator and let's try to print it. So this is what I have on the screen. Uh, just a bunch of numbers. And then I typed in electro horn here just to look nice. And when you go here on the menu, apps, you have IO functions and you can all print uh, some data or print the whole display. This is what we're gonna do now. Back on the printer, first thing we need to do is power it on. As a small LED here, a red LED, show that it's on. I'll just leave it to the right here because this is the darker printer that we can get. This, like I said, is just a blind feed button. So let's hit press print display on the calculator calculator and let's see what the printer does. So yes, printing is kind of slow, but it does get the job done. Let's wait until we get the, the full print out. It prints line by line, so it's kind of slow. But it is kind of nice, isn't it? I find it very interesting to have such a device in your pocket back then. So, printing has finished. Let's just get some line fit here to get the paper out. And this is it, guys. So this is the final printing. So this is what I wanted to show you guys today. Uh, this nice pocket printer, you can get the paper out easily after you print it. And I hope you guys enjoyed. I do plan on making a few more videos about this printer because I do plan on using it with other stuff besides calculators, but this is just the easiest way to show its functionality because it's, it works right out of the box with Hilla Packard calculators because, it's, because it was made for it. Uh, I forgot to mention that this thing does not use uh, a regular IRDA uh, infrared protocol, so it's not just uh, let's call it it's not plug and play with regular uh, infrared devices so you can just use the infrared device from your laptop pc to to print stuff from windows 10 for example so this one uses uh, serial infrared which is called sir so you have to get compatible devices to get it to print and this is the easiest one to get i already have Lots of calculators, like I showed you before. I even got some more besides this one. So this one's. So thank you very much for watching. If you have any comments, please leave them down below. And if you like the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. And see you next time. Bye bye.